Hiya once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. In this video, having an interesting little problem with this Dell Optiplex. Basically what we need to do here is reinstall Windows 10 on the computer. I have checked all the hardware. Everything checks out fine. It does have a hard drive that tests just fine, a terabyte. Everything else passes diagnostics. So this USB drive that I have plugged in here is a brand new fresh media installation for Windows 10. So let me show you guys what this is doing when we go to install Windows 10 on this computer. Obviously I'm going to press the power button here and just going to start pressing F12. We'll get the one-time boot menu. I'll go ahead and select USB storage device and we got the flashing cursor there up top getting ready to install Windows 10. Okay good. We're loading the installation media now. Go through the normal steps. Next. Install now. Setup is starting. Accept the license of course. And we're going to blow out these partitions. Delete. Obviously all the data we need backed up is backed up. That's all good and we're going to hit next. Now we're going to go through the process of course installing Windows, copying files, getting files ready, all that good stuff. 96%. Okay everything's going just fine. Installing features, installing updates. Then we go through our normal reboot here. And this is where things start making you scratch your head. Okay, we're rebooting. So far so good. Alright, got a post. Good. Got the Windows logo. There we go, we're starting to load from the drive now. This is all normal. Loading, and then it's looking like it wants to move on to the next point here of loading Windows. And I've done this a couple of few times already, and I'm telling you, that's going to be as far as we get. And we're still loading normally Windows here. Because we have our hard drive indicator here, steady whirring. So we're still in the process of loading Windows. But we have lost video. Completely lost video. Now I remember back in the Windows Vista, even Windows 7, Windows 8 days where you would lose video during installation. Black screen of death, they call that. It never comes back. And it, I can wait until this hard drive activity like just stops showing activity. So we know it's still loading, we just lost video. So what could this be? It had Windows 10 on it before and it ran just fine. Could be a few things. The first thing that might come to your mind might be a video driver or something, but I've never seen that be an issue with Windows 10. If it would have been a video driver problem, I don't think we would have gotten as far as we did. Still could be. Um, could be bad media. Could be bad boot media. So I'm, I may have to redo that boot media. That's a possibility. I think what I'm going to try is I'm going to try something else here. So even if I power this down right now, go ahead and power this down. You can see it's still working away there. But I'm going to power this down. Fire it back up and we're to this now. See what this does. Kind of goes back to what it did before. And now we're just back to where we started. Pretty odd, pretty odd. I get no mouse. I'm sitting there moving the mouse. The keyboard is working. I'm getting no, yep, yeah, I get some drive activity here. Here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to power this down. I'm going to power it back up. 
I'm going to go into the BIOS. So HCI is enabled. All the drives are enabled. Video, we got a primary display set to auto, which is fine. There's no video card on this computer. TPM, this is Windows 11 compatible. How about that? Secure boot, this says secure boot is disabled. First thing I'm going to try here is I'm going to load defaults. I'm going to load defaults, click OK, let this reboot and see what we get. Okay, that's normal. Black screen. Nothing. Not sure. I may try to reload the boot media. Let's try that. Reload the boot media and see if that was the problem. Freshly made installation media Windows 10. Let's try it again. Power off, power on. Let's go to USB storage device. I'll be surprised if that is the issue. But we shall see. Let's blow out these partitions once again. Let's uh, get to that point and let's see if it uh, fixed the problem. Okay, we're getting closer. There we go. Rebooting. Okay, so far so good. Nope. Nope, nope, and no. Black screen. Same location. It almost seems like it does that when it tries to, I don't know, when it's trying to get things ready. So, yep, we still have hard drive activity going. <sighs> Interesting. You know, let me pop in a, a solid state drive, an SSD here, and let me see if, if this will load Windows on this. Even though the drive passed doesn't mean that the drive is good. It could have bad sectors on it. So let me try that. Let's find out. Okay, all I've done here is I uh, just disconnected the hard drive with the data and the, and the data and the power connector. Just laid my known good SSD up here, a little small 120 gig. I'm going to go ahead and boot to installation media. And let's see if we get past that screen. It would be interesting. Boot to the storage device. And let's, uh, let's get this going. Now it's 118 gig, it's a 120 gig drive. Here we go. Let's try this process once again, shall we? All right, here we go. Stalling updates, finishing up. Restarting. This is normal. Waiting. EGA. Ha. Black screen. It's not the drive. It's not the media. We know the video works. How could it possibly be a driver? Could be a driver, but hardly ever experienced that at all with Windows 10. Huh. So, with this computer, I'm using VGA input, and it was working. 
this computer has no HDMI, but it does have two display ports. I wonder how the customer is hooking up theirs. Let's see. Should I try the display port? Let me get an adapter and try that display port. Let's try that. All right, well, this is all I have in my shop right now. I got a display port on this end, and I got a VGA on this end. Plug that into there. Plug our monitor into here. <clears throat> Let me just simply reboot this machine. Okay, we're kind of back where we were in that installation loop. Well, well, well. Wow. You know what? During installation, it had looked like that maybe somewhere in that installation that Windows disabled this uh, VGA port here. I was using VGA because the two monitors I have here on my bench don't support VGA, I mean, uh, they don't support DisplayPort. So I was using the VGA simply because my monitors do support those and there's no HDMI port on here. So I would have used the HDMI if they, had there been one, but I think, I think I just located the problem with this. Because now we have video past that screen. Look at this. It's going to install Windows. Bingo. Bingo. That was it. So I'm going to go ahead, power this down, revert back to my hard drive. Continue the install. I'm hoping that after the install and all the drivers, proper drivers get loaded, that they will then be able to use that VGA port. I have a feeling my customer is using that. Very, very interesting. Well, let's power this off. I'm going to plug that hard drive back up and see if we can continue with this installation here. Okay, I got my hard drive plugged back in. I'm going to just go ahead and power it up and let it go ahead and go ahead to that previous screen. I think it'll just pick up where it left off. I hope so. There's our post. See what we got. And it's rebooting. Computer's rebooting. Got Windows loading. This is off the hard drive. And there's a little bit of a reboot there. It's loading drivers. I think we've moved on past our failing point. There we go. What do you know? Computer restart unexpectedly. Click OK. We're going to click OK. And we're going to let it restart. Well, everybody, it looks like we got to the bottom of this. So, what, what did we learn here today? Well, for people that are still using VGA, some of these uh, newer computers, at least these Optiplexes, when you go to install a fresh copy of Windows 10, at least with Windows 10 anyways, look at there, it's, it's going through now. Oh gosh, I'm going to have to re... It says to restart a computer and then restart... It wants me to restart the installation, so that's what I'm going to do. If you get this problem, trying to install Windows, don't use the VGA port. If you don't have an HDMI port and you only have display ports, go ahead and buy yourself a cheap adapter. I could have easily gotten a display port to HDMI if I wanted to, but I didn't have that. They sell those too. I'll have links down below this video for those adapters. But I hope this video has helped somebody out. And I know there's going to be other people that come across this problem. So I appreciate everybody. Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.